What up, good people, and you bad people too. It is me, the M A Double T W Double O D S, and today we're here at the main library, Youngstown, three o five Wick Avenue, and we're here with Kenneth Brown, D C Colvin, and Nisha Starting with you, yes, Kenneth Brown. Where'd you grow up at? Grew up in Youngstown, Ohio. Born and raised here. Okay, what side of town? Uh, South Side. Graduated oh. from South High School in 1973. Just celebrated my 50th year reunion last year. Okay, awesome. okay. You know what? Did you go to school with my uncle Curtis Coleman? I did. Okay, I did. yeah, that's I think my. He graduated in '74. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, where do you currently live now? I currently live in the Los Angeles, California area. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. What kind of work do you do? I am retired, but mm -hmm. I do theater production and producing when I get the opportunity and do some political fundraising. Okay. And how's that working out? Um, the good. theater production stuff is good. You know, I, I take it when it, you know, when it's offered. I'm always excited. Working on a project now uh, for Orlando, Florida about uh, Zora Neale Hurston famous author and anthropologist in her friendship with Jules Andre Smith, who was an artist. Okay, okay. Sounds good, sounds good. And then when you come back to Youngstown, what are some of your favorite things to do here in the city? Uh, visit family and friends. I don't always get the opportunity, but that's probably one of my favorite things, to visit my family and my friends. Are they pretty much on the south side, or? They are all over. All over, pretty big family? Yes, sir. Do you all have your family reunion down here? Uh, we do. We do. Okay. It's my mother's side of the family, the Mortons. Mm -hmm. Whenever we have family reunions, that's where we get together here in Youngstown. Okay. We're actually preparing for next year's reunion. Okay. Where is it going to be at? We don't know yet. Okay. Figuring it out. We just know it's going to happen. Okay. 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 So one quick question about the food here. Where do you love to eat when you come down to Youngstown? Well, you know what? My newest favorite place now is Dahlia's Jamaica Restaurant, which you introduced me to. Okay. 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 Caribbean. Dahlia's nice Caribbean. Is it Caribbean? Yes. Caribbean. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. She yeah, is. I she... actually went there the other day. Did you? <laughs> I did. Did she remember you? <laughs> no, she didn't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've been knowing each other for right. a while. Right. <laughs> she asked me, is this your first time here? I was like, no, ma'am. It's my second. Well, mm -hmm. if you say yes, you'll, you'll get a free sample. Just FYI. That. <laughs> yeah. that was almost my response. Yeah. I almost, yeah. I almost said, yes, it's my first time because I knew I would have gotten a sample. Okay. Right, 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 right. You got some integrity, so I'm glad you did the right thing. All right. So, so just a uh, quick uh, selfish question for myself. Who okay. do you know from Youngstown that I should interview? Um, there's a young lady who's a part of our youth choir, the uh, uh, Christmas concert we're uh, working on. She, her, her first name is Poetry. Really? Mm -hmm. She's 10 years old. Okay, okay. A, and I was introduced to her through a friend of mine who heard her sing at an event. Mm -hmm. She talked about the power in her voice. Um, I spoke with her dad. He sent me some video of her. And you want to get this young lady in your archives because when she gets that Grammy nomination, okay, you okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. what's up, that's what's up, okay. All right, now moving on to you, Mr. DC. Yes, sir. Uh, where did you grow up at? Grew up in Westlake, okay, North Westlake. Hey. How, how was that coming out? Listen, it was a uh, wonderful experience, okay, okay. So grew up in the days where. When family was family, mm -hmm. everybody looked out for one another, mm -hmm. and I didn't know it was the projects until after I got out. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Now, I know at one point in time, the projects, Westlake got pretty rough down there. Were you still living there when it was going uh, through its... It, it was it was tough. It, mm -hmm. it became, I think, more deadly violent after I left. Okay. But we had, uh, we were by the store Golden Gates, mm -hmm. uh, Unemployment Corner, you know, the guys would hang out mm -hmm. and sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, you got any memories about um, uh, the Hampshire House? Or? Oh, listen. <laughs> Packed them out with Mr. McMullen and Mr. Huff and all of them oh, and the Super. Mm -hmm. uh, coached my first basketball team in 11th grade. Okay, okay. Uh, at the Hampshire House, so yeah, yeah. Hoop, Ch I'm sorry? Hooped in the cage. In the okay, back. okay. What about Chase Poole? Any oh, 
Come on, man, I almost drowned in the street. <laughs> fact, I told the story, I did drown and came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And what about the little store, Atways? At, oh, I, I graduated with some Atways. I live by some Atways now, man. Oh. Atways, walk by it up there on uh, Foster, I think, what street it was on. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, yeah, over there by the hospital. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, what kind of work do you do? Well, I'm retired now. I'm retired uh, social work. Okay. I work for uh, United Methodist Community Center, but my office is in the uh, Youngstown City Schools at uh, West and McGuffey Elementary for nearly 20 years. So I've been retired since 2016. Okay, okay. So how do you spend your days now, your retirement days now? Uh, cutting grass and doing whatever my daughter and my wife say. No, <laughs> 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 no I'm still, still, still acting and, and, and doing some things uh, uh, locally and, and, and outside the city. Okay, and I skipped a question. Where do you currently live? Do you, are you still here in Youngstown? Don't no, cross the line. Okay. I'm, I'm over in Liberty now. Okay. But, uh, Youngstown, born and bred. Okay. Youngstown dead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And so what are some of your favorite things to do in Youngstown? Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> where we are right now, mm -hmm. at the library, mm -hmm. beautiful facility. My son had a book signing uh, event here in, in, uh, in the event center. Uh, just a wonderful place to be. Um, MVR, like like to eat there is one of my favorite places. And mm -hmm. back in the day, Charlie Staples. Okay, you know, okay. Eat, I'm a professional eater. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you that up. I've you know, never heard that back. before. A professional eater. <laughs> I love that. Uh, you threw me off with that one. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to use <laughs> it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So Charlie Staples, that's a favorite place to eat. And um, who do you know that I should interview? Oh man, either one of my sons would be. Great when the one's still in town, Moody, the son in Atlanta, the one that, he's a, the book, uh, the author? Yeah. yeah okay. He wrote a leadership book. Oh, really? Oh, I yeah, definitely got to meet him. Leadership in 3D. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, some things in, in Atlanta, some great things. And my other son, he graduated from Columbia, Chicago. He's a screenwriter. Okay. And, and director, and, and all the girls that graduated college, they're doing great things as well. So, any one of my kids, or yeah. my grandkids. Yeah, so besides yeah. Besides that. Uh, what, what came to my mind immediately was uh, Floyd Showers. She was a part of the 1985 state championship basketball team mm -hmm. uh, for, for Rand, who won the first uh, state championship. Okay. So he might be a good guy. And then uh, Chuck Simon is on the board of uh, directors at the Junkstown Playoffs. Another another good guy. So okay. To, to well, I'm glad we were recording this because you just listed a lot of names. I'm going to write down every one of them. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, sounds good. Now over to you, Nish Devine. Where did you grow up at? Outside Youngstown. Hey, oh. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Except for me, I'm North Side, but you know, Youngstown is, you know, exactly. It's, it's, it's really all one side. side. Yes, we are from the same side. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Where do you currently <laughs> live? Are you still on the South Side? I am not. I am currently in Austin Town, but I am in the process of getting back to the South Side of Youngstown. Okay. Okay. And what kind of work do you do? Better question would be what don't I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm an advocate, I'm, well, a mother first, which makes me an inverterly an advocate. Mm -hmm. um, I am a cosmetologist by trade, mm -hmm. I am a business owner, serial entrepreneur. Um, I, I'm just a lover of business and the way things work and creativity. Okay. Are you a professional eater as well? Expert even. <laughs> I would say, you know, anything that you spend 10,000 hours in, yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah. what are some of your favorite things to do here in Youngstown? Um, you know what? Create. I'm a creative. I'm okay. a creator. Mm -hmm. So um, I love to create businesses. Mm -hmm. I love to help people to create and develop in their business. Um, to just advocate um, and learn. I'm always a student, so yeah. Okay, okay. And what's one of your favorite places to eat here in Youngstown? Dahlia's. Dahlia's, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Dahlia, she's amazing. She and, is. Um, mm -hmm. She also has a church, so you know, you're into those things on Sunday. Yes, oh, yes. Church. She has wow, her own wow. church. Yes. Okay. Big, yeah, I, I, Trying to remember the name I of it. I know she's uh, going to see this at some point. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get that free meal. You are an expert eater. I, I <laughs> <She's work> <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. Uh, and who do you know from Youngstown that I should interview? Um, I would say um, the first person that comes to mind is Miss um, Taylor. She was one of my middle school 
like my, one of my middle school teachers. I don't know her first name because I had to be respectful. Right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'll get you that. I do have her number as well as Mr. Chris Gunner. Okay. He has his Ooh. own show. Yeah, and he is yeah I know Chris well. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm impressed that you still keep in touch with your uh, your middle school teacher. Oh my gosh, I ran into her at the library. Okay, <laughs> okay, in okay. In Austin Town, and I was like, "Huh?" Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Ms>. Tyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I okay. Love her. But yeah, she was um, she was very significant in my upbringing. Um, she's one of my fondest memories in school. So yes. Okay. Dissecting and you know getting all gory. Oh, she was science or okay, okay, yeah. okay, I cool, love cool, cool. Yes, and she has integrity, and now she's retired a teacher, but now she's into um, well, she, she has some position in church. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but high ranking. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I have to find out. Yes. All right. All right so Kenneth Brown, we are in the holiday season. It's yeah, November 2024. And uh, what can you tell me about the history of St. Nick? Well, St. Nick is a real, was a real-life bishop born in 270 A.D. in the country of Turkey. He's the person who evolved into what we know as now Santa Claus. He was, St. Nicholas was born into a wealthy family who was very generous with their money to people in the community. Um, his parents died when he, at an early age, and he inherited all that wealth but it was instilled in him that he was supposed to give back to the community. And so there are stories of uh, St. Nicholas giving money to people at nighttime because he didn't want the people to know who it was. And though, even though most people probably knew who it was mm -hmm. because he was wealthy in the community, but he didn't distribute that wealth until at night when he could do it when nobody saw him. So those are the stories of what we know now as Santa Claus, the generosity of giving, the spirit of giving, the spirit of joy, of he reaching back to children, making children happy. That's how we came to what we know now as evolved as Santa Claus. Okay, okay. And when we were talking the other day, I did a little bit of Googling and I found one of the things that he would do was make the vendors, the local vendors, uh, charge less for their products to give a you know a break to the people. So I found that really really interesting. Yeah, he had a spirit of generosity and giving. Okay, so now you all are putting together a production, and um, what can you tell us about it? Uh, we are doing a holiday concert titled Winter Wonderland uh, on December 14th at 2 p.m. at St. Andrew's AME Church, uh, 521 West Earl Avenue. The choir that we've put together consist of children ages 4 to 14, an amazing group of young people who are just um, awesome to work with. Okay, and how did that come about? Um, I have a passion for working with kids mm -hmm. and creating opportunities in the theater. Um, having been a member of Phi Beta Sigma, one of our initiatives is to reach back to the young people and create opportunities. So. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, in conjunction with myself, are producing this holiday musical. It's also a toy drive and fundraiser, so we can help some less fortunate families here in the Youngstown Warren area. Okay. Now, who wrote the play? Um, I put it together. Um, mm -hmm. It's a combination of some traditional Christmas music and mm -hmm. some songs of encouragement that we all mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, and we are, and if you come to the concert, you more than likely will be able to sing along with everything that we sing. It brings back the joy, the nostalgia of Christmas for me. Okay. And what is your objective? How do you want people to feel after they leave the production? I want people to remember their childhoods. I want people to remember what it felt like when somebody reached back to them, helped them out, encouraged them. It, I want to bring about a sense of community. Okay, I love it. I love it. All right, so Mr. DC. Yes, sir. What are some of your fondest holiday memories? Oh, my fondest holiday memories. Um, again, I already stated that I was a professional eater. <laughs> uh, coming together with family. Yeah, yeah. Even, from a, even from a kid, yeah. mm -hmm. so, you know, grandma coming, cooking those sweet cinnamon rolls and mm -hmm. uh, coconut cakes, every kind of. The, the, the German chocolate, yeah, you know, and all the food, and uh, just, just remembering that. Okay. Not the gifts, but the the, the, the fellowship. Right. Even from a kid yeah. to now is uh, 
the most significant thing that I can think of. Okay. So now, growing up on the north side, did you go to Crandall Park to do the sled riding? Listen, cardboard. You can you give me a hard time to do this interview. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's all right. The cardboard, but now where'd you get the cardboard from? Now, I'm quite sure there's some stories behind that too. The dumpster. Okay. <laughs> It's yeah. called innovation. Yeah. It's and not creativity. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But you got down that hill. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so you're going to be in the production as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and what role will you be playing? Well, uh, in Act 1, I'll be playing a character that represents, uh, and Ken can correct me if I don't get it quite right, it's uh, Old Man Winter. Okay. And in the second act, I'll be uh, representing a character that... Uh, like Saint Nick. Okay. But the uh, first act character of uh, Old Man Winter will have a Louis Armstrong slant to him. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, I how far it. does your acting career go back? Well, if my late mother was here, she would say, all his life. <laughs> 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 but um, stage wise, I've been, been at it uh, for four decades. Okay. Uh, okay. Nearly, nearly 40 years. And is there anything special that you're doing to prepare for the role? Uh, you know, having met with the, uh, the, the director and producer, Mr. Brown, I think that that sense of community and family and letting young people know that they can, uh, it's going to be really exciting uh, for, for the elders as well as the kids. And I'm looking forward to that and getting that message to the community, you know, that, that we can and we will. Yes. Okay, okay, I love that. Now, is there anything that you learned from the characters that you're going to be portraying that you didn't know, or anything, new revelations? Uh, certainly, as he, as, as uh, Ken talked about the, uh, the history of St. Nick, mm -hmm. that was certainly um, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, old Man Winter, mm -hmm. uh, I've been him all my life. Hello, Matt. <laughs> You need your own podcast. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. And how do you want people to feel after they watch your performance? Um, that our kids are amazing and they're ready to take the mantle of making the world a better place mm. and doing better and being better and um, together in the sense of community. I love it. I love it. All right, Miss Niche Divine, have you ever been a part of a pr Christmas production? Um, uh, no, not exactly. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what was it? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember exactly the group, mm -hmm. but it was a part of a production that was. I had to be about twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it was a nice, it was a beautiful production. I forget exactly um, who put that on and where it was. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I was. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Did you grow up in church, like having to do speeches and things like that during, you know, <laughs> Christmas? No, but I was involved in church and I also, like, with school, it mm -hmm. was more so like the plays that we put on in school. So Sheridan Elementary, big shouts out to Sheridan Elementary um, for that. Yeah, we did we did different plays and different productions too. Okay, and so what are some of your fondest holiday memories? You know, just being around family and really the nostalgia that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. um, it imprints on your heart, okay. and it's one of those things that you always reach for. So now, mm -hmm. as a parent, you know we create our own traditions and you know try to capture a bit of that mm -hmm. you know within our only fam our family dynamics sorry okay yeah. now we know you're an expert eater but how are you at cooking do you cook at, during I the holidays do you do your thing <laughs> <laughs> I do and, and what is your favorite thing to cook um i would say a cajun chicken alfredo 
Okay, okay, okay. That's different for the holidays. Do you do any baking? Uh, a little. A little. Okay. Not so much as cooking mm -hmm. on top of the show. Okay, okay. And what might your favorite Christmas song be? This Christmas. By uh, which version? Chris Brown, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that the version great. as well. Chris Brown. Look, okay. Are you guys related? I claimed him. You should. He's a great person to claim. Yes. You know, I used to tell my like kids him? he was my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't see him doing this, but yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. And, and in general, who's your favorite singer? Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Which one? Hmm. I would say Whitney. Who? Whitney. Okay. 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 Yes. I love it. I love it. So, how many kids do you have? Four. Do and they, then I claim mm -hmm. the multitudes of the ones that, you know, come in my vicinity. That I right. For right. So, now your biological children, do they perform? Are they into acting? and? Yes. They're always acting. Okay. 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 Yes, they're always acting. Um, gosh, they're all characters. Mm -hmm. Each of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need each of them need their own show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then like different renditions and you know of aspects like what's going on with each one and different you know scopes and lights. I don't know. Um, they they need the whole shebang. I tell you, like. From my three-year-old mm -hmm. all the way to the fourteen-year-old, there. Are they excited about the holidays? Yes, um, yes and no. I would say because I put emphasis on the everyday. Every day is a holiday that you get, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I form that on the base of like no fake love, right? So um, we try to appreciate and love on our people as much as we can and that's an everyday thing everyday practice okay okay sorry back to you mr kenneth brown yes sir now you mentioned about the toy drive and the youth choir and things like that now is it too late for people to get involved with the um with the choir and is it um how do people get involved with the toy drive for, for as far as donating and receiving uh this weekend this saturday and sunday is the last opportunity for kids to become members of our choir so we encourage moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, uncles, aunties, sisters, brothers, bring your kids to St. Andrew's Church for rehearsal this Saturday at 2 and this Sunday at 4. Um, with the toy drive, we're asking people who come to the concert to bring a toy uh, or either donate money for toys and whatever families might need when you come to the concert. Okay. Now, do you have any information online? How can people find out more? Um, we will be posting the Save the Date on social media for December 14th at St. Andrew's Church, 2 p.m. for the concert. Um, we're working on putting it on the community calendar, um, reaching out to churches, other organizations to sponsor a child or several children to come to the concert to create some holiday memories that they can all look back on just like we look back on um, create families create those memories with your kids okay now are you going to have any photographers there to take pictures like uh, anything like that you know one of our one of our parents is a photographer she's been documenting our rehearsals yeah. okay okay cool 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 now is there anything else you want to add to that that i didn't ask you about um come out and have a good time. Come out and enjoy the spirit of giving, the spirit of community, the spirit of reaching back. Um, enjoy those old songs, you know. Like I said, come and be a, come and sing along with us. We look forward to seeing you there. Okay, okay. And then speaking of songs, what's your favorite Christmas song? Right now, to, as of today, my favorite Christmas song is Silent Night. Our choir does a beautiful rendition of Silent my okay. kids were so good that the parents started applauding before they finished the <laughs> So right yeah. today, in this moment, yeah. silent night. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I like that answer because it always kind of changes it a does. little bit. It yes, does change. I get it, I get it, I get it. And then this is a random question. What was the first album that you purchased or cassette or, you know? Probably was an Earth, Wind & Fire uh, album. Mm -hmm. um, Earth, Wind, and Fire was the first concert I ever attended. 
Okay, 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 cool. And then as we wrap up, any closing remarks, anything? Um, we look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, the kids are working hard. Please come and support their efforts. Please come and support the toy drive, the fundraiser. Just come and have a good time. It's good to be together with people who are enjoying music and the holidays. Okay, cool, cool. I love it, I love it. And same thing with you, for you, Mr. DC. Yes, sir. What was your first album that you ever purchased with your own money? <laughs> Ooh, probably was Isaac Hayes. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was Isaac Hayes. <laughs> yeah. uh, walk on by. <laughs> yeah, probably oh. Isaac Hayes. Okay, okay. And what's your favorite Christmas song? Well, um, like uh, Ken just said, it changes. Mm -hmm. But since we're doing Winter Wonderland, uh, Louis Armstrong version, uh, that's my favorite song. Okay, yeah. okay. And he does it really well. Okay, I bet, I bet, I bet. <laughs> Sleep, Bell Street. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to walk out with you on camera and sing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and do you have anything uh, that you want to add that I didn't ask you about that you want to include? Um, just like Ken said, to come out mm -hmm. and uh, not just support the program on December 14th, but mm -hmm. supporting our kids. Mm -hmm. Support our kids. Love our kids. Yes. Trust our kids. Yes. Believe our kids. Yeah. And believe community. Mm -hmm. We can do this together. I love it. I love it. And Niche Divine, what was the first album, cassette, or CD that you purchased with your own money? That I purchased. Yes. Was Chris Brown. Oh, really? Yet again. It, yes. Okay. Just Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just fun. Okay. And any closing remarks? Uh, well, um, I want to put on record that um, however that I could be helpful in this production, stage hand, mother hand, um, wow. you know, how, however I could be helpful, I would definitely um, love to be. And I will actually um, love to donate 10 of the... Um, books with niche to um, to the members of the choir. Okay, okay, bring, cool. Bring some kids to be in our choir. We, oh, they're going to be there. There you go. Mm -hmm. they gonna be there. Yes. <laughs> That's what's up. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. So once again, I'm the M8. Thank you, Matt, too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, yeah, for putting this together. This is beautiful. Like, I don't know if y'all, y'all may not understand, but back here, Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some footage on the way out, yes, you know, just to give the people the vibe and yes, the ambiance of what's going on here. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Well, all right. Well, I'm the M A W T W U W O D S, and we're at the main library here in Youngstown with some good peeps, y'all. Peace.